Hi guys, welcome to this fifth tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with Micro C Pro for PIC compiler. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use an LCD display. LCDs are alphanumerical or graphical displays. They are frequently used in microcontroller based applications. There are many devices in the market which come in different shapes and sizes. Some LCDs have 40 or more characters length with the capability to display several lines while some others display can even be programmed to display graphic images. As we can see in this demonstration We've got a 16 by 2 lines LCD. It basically means it can display 16 characters in two lines. We can even have other LCDs like a 40 by 2 which can display 40 characters in two lines, a 40 by 4 which can display 40 characters in four lines and so on. Some LCDs can be programmed to display graphic images like this one. It can be programmed to display simple graphics like chart, graphs, or even rectangles, circles that might be needed in your project. In terms of interfacing technique, we can group LCDs in two categories. Parallel LCDs like this one and serial LCDs. A serial LCD is connected to a microcontroller using one data line only and data is transferred using the RS-23 data communication protocol. Serial LCD are generally much easier to use, and they only use one data line which can help you to save some more pins of the microcontroller. But the problem, they are more costly compared to the parallel ones. In this video, we're going to discuss only the parallel LCDs, as they are cheaper and are used more commonly in microcontroller based projects. One of the parallel LCD is the popular Itachi HD4478 controller, which is one of the most popular LCD controllers used in many LCD modules in industrial and commercial applications. This module is monochrome and comes in different shapes and sizes, usually with character length of 8, 16, 20, 24, 32, and 40 character length in 1, 2, or 4 lines. In this demonstration, we are using the LM016L, which is a 16 by 2 line LCD. It can display 16 characters in 2 lines. If you need to display more characters, then you'll have to scroll left or scroll down. This LCD display generally has 14 pins, which are marked on the PC board with a model's F16 pins if the device has a backlight built in. In this demonstration, this LCD module has a green backlight built in, but other colors are also used in other devices like a blue light, which is also a common feature in some other LCD displays. The first pin is VSS, which is a ground pin. You can connect this pin to the ground supply of the circuit. The second pin is VDD, which is a positive supply of the LCD. You can connect it to plus 5 volt of the circuit. The third pin is VEE which is a contrast pin. It can have zero up to five volt. That's why generally it's connected to the middle pin of a variable resistor so that the contrast of the LCD can be adjusted. The fourth pin is RS pin, which is a register select pin. When this pin is set to zero, data zero to data seven are interpreted as commands. And when this pin is set to logic 1, then data 0 to data 7 are interpreted as data. The fifth pin is RW, which is read-write pin. When this pin is set to 0, or if it's grounded, then it is in write mode. The microcontroller can write data to the LCD. But when this pin is set to 1, if it's connected to a microcontroller, 
then it set in read mode. Then data can be read from LCD to the microcontroller. As usually, we don't need to read anything from the LCD. To save some few pins on the microcontroller, it's usually a good idea to connect this pin to ground so that we can only write to the LCD. Pin 6 is the enable pin. When this pin is set to zero, then the access to the LCD is disabled, but in normal operation, this pin is set to logic 1. Pin 7 to pin 14 are data pins. If the LCD is connected in 8-bit mode, then all these pins are connected to the microcontroller. But when it's connected in 4-bit mode, like in this demonstration, then only pin 11 to 14 are connected to the microcontroller. Micro C profile pick provide a set of libraries which simplify the initialization and use of peak compliant MCUs and their modules. As you can see in the hardware libraries, we've got a set of libraries that we can use, like ADC library, we've got the CAN library, we've got the flash memory library. So there are plenty of libraries. This really make life easy as a programmer. You don't have to go through some complex procedures and functions. You can just use the built-in library. So let us go to the LCD library, the one that we're going to use in this tutorial. By the way, you can access these libraries on micro C Pro for Peak Libraries link. Click on LCD library. It says the micro C Pro for Peak provides a library for communication with LCD with HD4478 compliant controllers through the 4-bit interface. So you can only use this library with the 4-bit interface. Before you use this library, it says these are the, some external dependencies of the LCD libraries. So the following variables must be defined in all projects using the LCD library. This is to define the LCD connection, to specify which pins of the LCD are connected to which pin of the peak microcontroller. To do this, you have to specify all the pins that you are using on your LCD display. You can start with the RS pin. This is how you can specify to which pin the RS pin is connected. If we are connecting our RS pin to port B4 as on our circuit diagram, then it could say S bit LCD RS at bit 4. The same goes for enable bit, we're gonna connect it to RB5. And all the data lines, you can specify to which pin you're going to connect your data lines. In this example, we're going to connect data line 4 to B0, data line 5 to B1, D6 to B2, D7 to B3. So if you connected your LCD to port C, for example, then instead of saying RB4, you could say RC4, RC5, RC3, and so on. And the next thing we have to specify your, the direction of your pins. To do this, you have to say LCD RS direction at tri state B4. If you connected your RS pin to B4, enable direction at tri state B5 bit. If you connected your enable bit to pin B5, and LCD D7 direction at tri state B3 bit. If you connected your D7 data line to B3 and so on. So before you call any LCD function, you have to make sure that the, the following variables have already been defined. These are the functions that you can use with the LCD display. We've got the LCD init, the LCD out, the LCD out at current position. We've got the LCD character, the LCD character current position and the LCD command. Let's start with the LCD init. This function is used to initialize the LCD module. Before you call this LCD init, you have to make sure that these global variables are already defined as we have seen earlier on. This is just to specify where you are connecting your LCD to which pin of which port of the microcontroller. This is just a simple example of the LCD init. Because before you call this LCD init, these variables must be defined. We're going to connect our LCD to port B. 
So we're going to specify the LCD pin out to which pin the LCD is connected to port B. Then we're going to set the pin direction using the tri-state register. And then you're going to just say LCD init. The next function is the LCD out. This function prints text on LCD starting from specified position. Both string variables and literals can be passed as text. So this function is used to print a text to the LCD display. You have to specify the row and you have to specify the colon and the text to be printed on the LCD. Row is starting position row number. The colon is starting position colon number and the text is the text to be written. And it says before you use this function, you have to make sure that the LCD is already initialized using the LCD init function. So let's say if you want to write hello on the LCD from row 1, column 3, then you can say LCD, specify the row, which is going to be first row, which is going to be the first line of the LCD. Then we're going to start hello on the third column of the LCD. And what we're going to display on the LCD is hello. The next function we can use is LCD out current position. It says this prints text on LCD at current cursor position. Both string variables and literals can be passed as text. So if you don't want to specify which row or which column you want to print your LCD, then you can use this function. Then it's just going to display text on the current position of the cursor. Let's say in the previous line, we use the function LCD out. Then we displayed hello on the first row. And after this, we call the function LCD out current position. Then this is just going to display on the first row because the cursor is still on the first row. And it's going to start writing at the eighth position of the colon because hello world is going to finish at position seven. So it's going to start writing at position eight. This is how you can use this function lcd out current position and then you, all you have to do is just to specify the text that you're going to display on the lcd the next function to use is lcd character this prints character on lcd at specified position and both variables and literals can be passed as character so this function is used if you want to write a simple character on the lcd then we can use LCD character and it says LCD module need to be initialized before you can use this function. So the LCD init function has to be called before you can use any other function of the LCD. If I want to, to write the character I on the second row of the LCD and on colon three, then you can say LCD character two, which is the row three, which is the colon. Then you specify your character. In simple code, if you want to write a string of characters, then we can use double code. But if you want to write a single character, then we can use a single code. If you want to print on LCD its current cursor position, you can use the LCD character position. All you need to do is to write LCD character current position and then you specify the character that you want to display on the LCD display. And the last function of the LCD library is the LCD command. This function is used to send command to the LCD. It says predefined constant can be passed to functions. These are the available LCD command that you can use. There is LCD first row. If you want to move the cursor to the first row, there is LCD second row. LCD fourth row to move the cursor to the fourth row. There is LCD clear if you want to clear your display. LCD cursor off to turn off the cursor. LCD blink cursor on to blink cursor on. LCD turn on to turn the LCD display on. LCD turn off to turn the LCD display off. And LCD shift right to shift display right without changing the display data ram. To use this function, all you have to do is to write LCD command 
and inside the bracket you can specify the command that you're gonna use if you want to clear the display then you can just specify LCD clear that's all guys these are the only functions that you can use using this library let's go to a micro C project and write a simple code to display on the LCD display on the first line hello world and on the second line LCD display this is the project that we have created the first thing is the configuration bit if you go to project edit project we use 8 MHz oscillator the peak we use the peak 18A45K22 and the oscillator selection we selected HS oscillator because our frequency the oscillator frequency is between 4 and 16 the rest of the config we just left them at their default values click ok the first thing is the LCD module connection we're gonna connect our LCD to port B as you can see on our second diagram data D4 to data 7 are connected to RB0 to RB3 the enable bit is connected to RB5 and the RS pin is connected to RB4 and this just to set the direction of our pin then in our main loop the first thing is to configure our LCD the first thing is to configure port B pins as digital pins because we're gonna connect our LCD to port B and the first function we call it LCD init to initialize our LCD then we're gonna send the command to our LCD to clear the screen then we're gonna switch off the cursor so we don't see the cursor we, we use the command LCD command then we specify the command which is LCD cursor off on the first line first row we're gonna write hello world and on the second row which is the second line we're gonna write LCD display let us build our project build finish successfully let's go to our simulation run you can see it display hello world on the first line and on the second line it display LCD display as you can see there is no cursor let's go to our code and enable the blinking cursor so that you can see it on the LCD display stop the simulation we're gonna say LCD blink cursor on let's build our project again build successful and if I run my project you can see the blinking cursor it's displayed on the LCD the other thing that we're gonna show you guys we're gonna display the 8 character on the current cursor position so we're gonna say LCD character at current position then we're gonna display the 8 character let's build our project again build build finish successfully let's run our simulation you can see it's display hello world LCD display and just after the LCD display on the next column display the 8 symbol thank you guys for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to receive more tutorials and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you